Why LaVille? Um, well, I think, I think a little bit of it was stubbornness because I told my dad I was going to become a teacher and he was like, oh, I can't see you being a teacher, Jody. That, that won't work. And so I think my 21-year career is a bit to spite my father who said that I couldn't be a teacher. <laughs> I think he's, he thinks I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to make a go of it at this point. I think he's convinced I'm, I can do this thing. <laughs> Take that, Dad. <laughs>
my 21 year career is a bit to spite my father who said that I couldn't be a teacher. <laughs> I think he's, he thinks I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna make a go of it at this point. I think he's convinced I'm, I can do this thing. <laughs> Take that, Dad. <laughs> My first year teaching, I didn't have a phone in my classroom. That was a big thing, to get a phone in my classroom. And I had, if you wanted a TV, you had to check it out from the library, and they would wheel a cart up, and you'd you know, show a VHS tape that you'd taped off the TV. Um, and so when we got a, like a lab of computers that I could take into my room and use, but even that, you had to check it out. And so the first classrooms that were one-to-one -one were... I mean, they were like desks, and the computers were in the desks, and they stayed there. And so you didn't travel with your computer. You traveled to your computer. Um, and so now, I mean, it's just completely different. You know, everything that it, kids never have to pick up a book in the library to do research. They just type it into Google, and they find the answer. So everything is the way I teach is completely different than when I started teaching. I think it. I think it's a good thing. I think... Well, I mean, I think, one, I'm a better teacher today than I was 21 years ago. I was garbage my first year. <laughs> like, but I think every teacher's garbage their first year. You're supposed to be garbage your first year, so you learn, right? So I'm, I think I'm better, but I think now I can bring so much more into it. It's not just me talking about, you know, maybe Kennedy giving a speech, but now I can find a clip of Kennedy giving a speech, and they can see Kennedy give the speech. And so it just becomes more nuanced, and I think it intrigues the kids more to see history as opposed to just hearing some old person stand in front of the room and say, I remember when the Berlin Wall fell down. So I think it's better. Um, I've never seriously considered anything other than teaching. Um, but I have considered other schools. Early on, I did my student teaching at Mishawaka, and they liked me. And early on, they had talked to me about maybe going to Mishawaka and being a teacher at Mishawaka. Um, but in the end, I decided to stay here. I started getting, I started out junior high and I started getting the high school classes and now I teach only juniors and seniors all day long. And I teach the subjects I love to teach. So it would be hard to get somebody to convince me to go elsewhere because I have the classes I want to teach here if I want them. I have a lot of fun memories doing crazy stuff with student council. We used to raise money for Pennies for Patients, which is Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And um, one year, we would do challenges. And so if we raise this amount of money, the, we'll do this. And if we raise this amount of money, we'll do this. And so one year, I think it was all in the same year, I said if we raised like $1,000, I'd wear my wedding dress for the day. And we did it. And I had to wear my wedding dress for the day. Thankfully, it still fits. <laughs> um, I don't know if that would be the case today. But I wore my wedding dress all day. And one of my students came dressed in a tux so that he could, he could be next to me in my wedding dress. And then I think that same challenge, that year, if we raised, was it $5,000? It was a lot of money. Um, me and another teacher would sleep. We would spend the night on the roof of the building. And we did it. We did it on the last day of school in May, and it was freezing cold. It was like 30 degrees that night, and we were in a tent on the roof of the building. But we did it, and it was a lot of fun. So that's probably, that's probably my favorite memory so far. Why LaVille? Um, well, I think, I think some people would look at LaVille and think, oh, it's just a small little country school. Um, I know my husband went through the South Bend School Corporation, and his first comment when he came out here, he's like, there's a cornfield on the other side of the building. <laughs> like, yeah, there's corn kind of everywhere. Um, but I think, that's, I think that's what is its appeal. I think kids get lost in big schools. And if you come here, I'm going to know every junior because I'm going to have every junior in class. I'm going to know every senior. And so there's not going to be a kid who graduates from here that I won't have some personal connection with because I had them in class for a year to a year and a half. And I think if you go to a bigger school, you can get lost. And, and the teachers here are going to know you and make sure that that doesn't happen. And so I think that's, I think what some people might think is its bad side, that it's so small, is, is actually it's good. Um, and that that kids can get involved in lots of things here um, because there's, there's lots of clubs and sports that you can get involved in and then you can feel a part of the community. LaVille is just a special place and I think for a lot of people it, it, they have to leave it to know how special it is and, and I think like I've never had to leave it to know how great LaVille is 
But I think of, I've talked to other colleagues who have left, some who've come back, some who haven't, and they always talk about how they want to come back to LaVille, or there's, there's something that they miss that we have here. And, and I don't know what it is, but it's that your colleagues help you out. The kids are wonderful. The parents are supportive. I mean, of, of you know, if I give 100 calls to parents, 99 of them are going to be positive and supportive. And so I feel like the community just rallies around the school and the kids, and it's just, it's a fun place to be. And we can have fun together, and we can still do good work here. And so I think that is what has kept me here. Um, not just that I get to teach the things that I love to teach, but that's, you know, that's definitely part of it. Um, but I would miss the people here, and I would miss the students here. Very important discussion. Mascara is a key part of economics.